Hey friends, I hope that you are well. I hope you're having a great day and I'm so happy you're here if you and that you're enjoying the videos. If you could just like and subscribe below, it makes me know that um, or lets me know <laughs> that you're watching, that you like the content. If you have any questions, comments, need more information, I am here for you. Just comment below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. It is getting near the end of the school year, so I am getting extra crazy being an educator. So I do apologize if, if there's a little bit of lag. Um, today we're going to cover managing medicine and medical supplies at Disney World. I know this is something that people don't tend to talk about, but I think it's important that you at least think about it if you need to think about it. Now, with all of the different conditions, diseases, uh, situations, right? We're just going to say situations and um, how everyone is different. My advice may potentially change depending on your own personal situation. So again, I am not a medical professional. I am just a person that has family members that have various medical conditions that we've had to work with, right? Because that's what we do. So that being said, some great news about Disney is that it is pretty friendly when it comes to working with people with special needs or, or in need of accommodations, right? So many of us are used to living with things the way they are and traveling can be a little stressful because there are a lot of pieces to think about. So something my advice that you'd want to think about is if you are staying on Disney property, not all hotels are created equal. And I know you know this, right? They have the different levels, the the value, the moderate, and then um, the more expensive. I, I can't remember what they're called right now, but like the, the three different levels, three different tiers. Now, that just kind of gives us extras, right? The value doesn't necessarily have like things like a spa or a sit-down restaurant. When it comes to needs for people that may have like wheelchairs or need extra medical supplies in the room or an extra fridge to hold medication. Really what I, I would advise you to look for are rooms that are larger. Not all the hotels have the same size rooms, all right? And not all the hotel rooms within one resort are the same size. So, and, and that includes our handicap rooms. Right, so if you're someone that maybe is on dialysis that that needs extra supplies, extra place to put things, um, you may not need a handicap room, but you need a bigger room to hold extra supplies potentially. Um, so these are things to think about. That would be my first thing to think about to look at the resorts to find out which ones have the larger rooms. It's not always your more expensive resorts. I'm just gonna to give you that that handy hint. Um, so. That would be my first bit of advice to you. So that's something to think about. Also packing. We all think about packing, right? Well, the cool thing about Disney is that you can get supplies directly shipped to your hotel and have them arrive. Now, they will arrive at your hotel, but if you are at Disney and you have forgotten something, or like a CPAP machine breaks and you need a part or something something like that, overnighting is not overnighting. Meaning that um, Disney has like a mail room outside the Magic Kingdom. So things take, like if it says one day shipping, it's not gonna get to you in one day. All right, so just know that you're gonna have to, to plan in advance, but you can get your medical supplies mailed to you and then they will be there ahead of you Disney will hold them there, all right? So so that is really like key to know. I, I'm gonna do a second video that explains like how far in advance you probably should do that and everything. I'm realizing like we're already four minutes in and I haven't even come close to addressing everything. Um, also something to think about, for my friends that um, maybe do have dialysis needs and they're like, I, I can't go to Disney. There is a clinic in Celebration that you can work, I think it's called DaVita, could be wrong, um, but you can reach out to them and they will actually do 
dialysis or have dialysis there for you. You just have to work with um, your current medical provider and reach out to them. So that is doable. If you have something like that, something, some kind of thing that you need to go elsewhere for, you can plan. You just need to reach out a, a good a month in advance to get appointments set up. And then when you're planning your park days, make those days um, where you may need a treatment or something like that, kind of like your rest days, right? Like your hotel days, or if you're going to go into a park, maybe, you know, go in and see um, the Festival of the Lion King and just a nice, chill, calm, relaxing thing. Also for my friends that have dietary needs, I will tell you, um, there are lots of options and Disney it does have special menus. So whenever you're going, and there are some places within Disney that I would recommend more than others. You can hear birds outside. Um, but you can request certain a certain special menu. Or you can tell your server, I, I cannot have X, Y, and Z. And the chef will actually come out and talk to you and prepare you something special if that has to happen. So know that. All right? Um, so many little tips and tricks that that I wish I could just share them all with you in one video, but it would be the longest video ever. Um, that being said, if you are just starting to plan, really check into the hotel room sizes. Um, again, pending your individual needs, you can also request an extra fr fridge if you need a um, medication refrigerator and there's not enough room in the fridge in your room. So that is good to know. So um, just a few tips and tricks and some managing med medicine, medical supplies when you're doing Disney. First aid is in every park and you can even um, reach out to first aid and if you do dialysis for yourself, they offer facilities there for you to administer yourself. They have microwave you can use. They have fridge where you can keep medication if if absolutely necessary. Again, you reach out to them. You don't have to. The website says you don't have to. But I'm a big fan of reaching out before I do. That's just me. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please reach out. I will do another video kind of like this. I know it's sort of boring, but it's the nitty gritty and it's the stuff you need to know so that you can go and have fun and not stress. Because God knows we've all have enough stress in our lives. So have a wonderful day. I hope that you're enjoying yourself. I hope that all is well. And I look forward to hearing back from you. All right, have a great day. Please like and subscribe below. And I'll see you soon. Bye.